hey guys welcome back so in the previous video we created the react native application and added navigation and tailwind css in this video we'll be designing home screen but before that i've copied some of the images let me just paste them here okay so these are the images that we'll be using in some screens like this is a banner image and uh, this is just a random image okay so let's start uh, designing the home screen this is the home screen also before that let me just add a theme file these are just some of the heading color and button colors that we will use in this project so we won't have to change them from all the places okay so that's done now let's start designing the home screen First of all, let me just add a class here, flex1. This will just expand the container to uh, to the whole screen. So uh, now let's add the logo. This will be a view because we will add a logout button across the logo. So let's style the logo. actually let's uh, let's use the colors from our theme you can use the back ticks and a dollar sign to add a variable here like this and fonts bold these are just the classes from tailwind css i'm not going to teach you all of them classes but uh, you can check their website so they are pretty useful okay so this looks fine now let's uh, add a logout button okay so we have a touchable opacity uh, tag from react native what this does is actually it makes your text like a button so it is touchable so it's very useful it will make this logout text like a button so let's design it and a border background white a border gray and it should be rounded now let's add the color from our theme adding okay this looks fine now let's just flex them so they look good flex by the way in in react native by default the flex uh, direction is column so we have to define that flex should be row so justify between like that and let's just items center and let's add a padding as well padding four i think no oh, looks perfect now after that let's add a banner image here this is a view for banner image we can use the image co component from react native we have to provide the source and an image from our assets and it should show right there image doesn't it oh we haven't imported it so there okay the reason why it is not showing because we haven't added any width and the height of the image so when we add that it will show right there like that so let's uh, move it to center we can use flex for that flex um, oh it should be flex row sorry okay let's add item center that won't do anything but let's just add it anyway 
background of blue 200 okay and let's make it rounded and add up a little margin on horizontal as well and uh, i think the radius is too much so oh, that looks fine and a little margin bottom i think margin bottom of four okay so now that's done let's add move to the next section so the, our next section will be uh, uh, the recent trips so we will have a text recent trips and a add trip button and then we will have a list of the recent trips so in this view, view we will define recent trips and a add trip button so let's add a recent trip text recent trips and we will have a button as well using we will use touchable opacity Uh, text of add trips okay okay let's design it flex row justify between an item center okay so let's add a little padding around the container px4 now let's design this recent trips text so let's um, just use the colors from our theme back ticks and a dollar sign colors dot heading and font should be bold text excel okay okay so for the button let's just copy paste this logout button and use it here and we will just change the text to add trip okay so this looks fine now let's add another view for our recent trips we'll be using a flat list component from react native actually this is used for showing a list of data so we will be showing a list of recent trips here let's uh, add its properties it takes a parameter uh, data so that will be an array of lists i've already copied it so i will just paste it paste it here later we will use trips from firebase for now let's use dummy data now the second option is render item we will receive a receive an item from the array in this callback so we will just uh, render a view against this item so here we will add a card so this card should be touchable add a view and we will show the place and the country on this card okay so let's add the place each item will have a place and id and a country so let's add country okay so we will be showing two columns so we can specify the number of columns for the recent trips and we also need to hide the uh, vertical scroll bar so we can use this option to false and if we save this you know, we will be able to see the trips like that now all the trips have a unique id and uh, in react native when we loop through a array we need to specify the id uh, key for each item so we have this key extractor property on flat list and we will use the item id for each key now let's add a banner image for each card so the place and country all that let's add an image on the top we will just use a random image for now but we will be creating a random image function that will just show a random image for you for all the cards okay so 
let's add the height and the width of the image 36 and margin bottom like this if I save this this will show the images now let's uh, add the styles for these texts texts we'll use the color from our theme color start heading and we'll make this board now let's just copy paste this uh, here and let's make the text a little small text extra small now let's add the style to the card so bg white and a padding and it should be rounded let's add a little margin bottom and a shadow okay so this looks fine but let's add a little spacing between these so we have a property of column wrapper style we will just justify them so justify between so they look good so let's add a little margin horizontally that's two now i think one is fine okay so this is done and uh, let's add a little spacing between these two components can use this spacing horizontally like this and uh, after that let's uh, well, this component is a scrollable component so we let's add a fix height for this component style and let's say 430 okay so our component will be scrollable for this height let's add more values and see if this is working okay so yes this is working and this uh, warning is about the keys that some of the children have same keys because we just copy pasted the same items okay so this is working now for this image this banner image this should be a random image so we will make a function that will fetch the random images and we'll, all the cards will show random images we'll add a file here random image and we will add all the images that's why i labeled all the images from 1 to 12 so we'll add key here for one this will return the image number one and for two it just will return the image with the name two okay just like this you can add all the 12 images here i will just copy paste them here like uh, this and next we need to add a function random image random image so this will return uh, a random image from 1 to 12 images this is default okay the minimum is 1 and the maximum number of images is 12 so we will add a logic that will return a num random number between these two numbers math.floor this will round a number to a proper figure and this will math.random will get a random number and this is just use this logic to get a random number from these two limits plus minimum and this way we will get a random number and we need to return the image using that random number so this will just return a random image from this now let's just use this method if i type this this we should import this um, 
sometimes this auto import doesn't work so the name is right let's just add it and import it manually import random image from assets images and random image okay if i save this this should show the random images for all the cards okay so the text color i think is looking too black so let's change it to a little light gray you can change this so this is the benefit of using the styles in one place we can just change it and it will change all the text colors across the application okay so the home screen is finished now uh, this is it for this video in the next video we will start creating the expense screen and add trip screen so see you in the next video